Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we have this beer right here from Sawdust City. This is Sawdust City's Raspberry Rattler. It's death and taxes. It's 4.3% alcohol by volume, so I guess you could argue that it is an Imperial Rattler. I guess you could say that. Ingredients. Water. Malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast, and raspberry puree. I really like the art on a lot of the Sawdust City beers. They actually kind of remind me of, uh, they do kind of remind me, some of them, like like ones like this, remind me of the, of the Collective Arts beers. Let's open it up. Now, there aren't many craft brewers that do Rattlers. And, in all honesty, the main one that I can remember that is widely available is the Amsterdam one, the uh, Sweetwater Squeeze, which is the one that has been pulled two years in a row for exploding cans. Uh, so I'm surprised that craft brewers do it at all, to be honest with you. I know Kitchissippi did it out in Ottawa. Uh, these guys do it. Um, Amsterdam. I don't know of many more that do. Uh, Plan B did a whole line of Rattlers, and they were really good, especially the Key Lime one. Uh, but uh, Rattlers don't seem to be as prevalent in the craft beer world, and that's okay, because for the most part, and I know this is going to sound bad, but in the for the most part, I, I think that Rattlers should be done by the big guys, because they have a beer, they have a base beer that's basically tasteless, so when you add the juice to it, you're basically just tasting the juice, and that's what makes a Rattler, for me at least. Uh, now, I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm kind of excited to try it, and this might change my mind, but I mean, none of, the only, the only other craft Rattler that I, the only craft Rattler I really loved that I've had, other than the Key Lime Rattler from, from Plan B, was the Tricycle Rattler from, uh, from Parallel 49, and I'm not usually a fan of a lot of Parallel 49 beers, but my Fucking God, was that a good beer. Anyway, here we go. Now, raspberry purees in this, so I expected a little bit darker of a color, to be honest with you. But it does have a little bit of that, that orangey, reddy haze to it. Uh, it is hazy crazy, as on the 10th would say. Bright white head. Now, again, a lot of raspberry beers you get will have a, an almost pinkish-hued head and an almost pinkish-hued body to it. Uh, and I don't, they're not using like raspberry extract or just raspberry juice, they were using a raspberry puree. So I did expect a little bit more color transformation, but I don't know how light colored the, the base beer was. So I mean, this could have been the, the coming out this color could have been the light translate, uh, the color translation. Uh, give it a sniff. Yeah, it smells good. It smells real good. But it's one that I actually like the smell out of the glass better. Out of the glass, it's basically raspberry jam. It's beautiful. Just sweet raspberries and and a little bit of, uh, of sour raspberries. It smells amazing out of the glass. Out of the can, not so amazing to me. It almost has, it has that almost heavy water sulfuric scent to it, which it... it and metallic scent, which could be just the can itself, or it could be the base beer itself. I don't know. It's not, uh, but you get the raspberries as well, and that's why I don't like the smell of it because it's that raspberries mixed with that almost heavy water scent out of the can, out of the glass. It smells fucking divine. Cheers. Let's try it. Okay, now I was worried about this because when they did their when they did their butter tart beer, which sounds like it would be amazing, and it smelled amazing, and it tasted pretty good, but there was a lot of hops on the back end. And I think that's what threw me off on that beer, was why is, uh, why is a, a butter tart beer hopped? I know that hopping is part of Sada City's uh, shtick. It's part of their gimmick. It's part of their, well, not even their gimmick, their, their, their calling card. But there's no real reason to really hop a maple, uh, a maple butter tart beer. There isn't. Uh, it's a butter tart beer. I mean, it should just taste like a butter tart. So when I grabbed this, I was worried it was going to be overly hopped. Now, there is 
a tannic and hoppy flavor on the back end. It's tannic like the uh, like you just chewed a whole bunch of raspberry seeds, and it's slightly bitter, like uh, almost like a noble hop, almost that kind of earthy, dirty bitterness. Not not quite to the English dirtiness, the the kind of like cut grass, earthy herbal dirtiness. Not the you just ate a mud pie dirtiness that uh, you get from a lot of uh, a lot of the the English hops, but I don't even know what's in here. It could even be English hops, and it's just hiding behind the raspberry tannics to make me think that it isn't that way. But the forefront is very nice. Very soft carbonation. Very light beer. Lots of raspberry taste, both sweet raspberry as well as the slightly bitter raspberry. And then you get an almost soda water middle. Which is good because again I thought it would be overly hopped, and then after that sort of soda water middle, you get the you get the hoppiness, which is that that cut grass kind of earthy herbalness, as well as the tannic chewing on uh, raspberry seeds taste. I really like this. I don't think I like it as much as some of the big guys. Like I would I would personally rather drink a Stiegel Radler or a Bud Light Radler myself, even though I love Sawdust City more than either of those companies. Uh, or the Odo Kringer Citrus Rattler. Uh, I would rather drink those three Rattlers than this, but this would probably be number five on the list. I think my, my list would go, personally for me, Stiegel, Bud Light, Odo Kringer, this, then, um, then Plan B's Key Lime. Now, I gave Plan B's Key Lime a higher mark than this, but I think this is more drinkable. It's not as sweet, it's not as overpowering, it's not as cloying. So I'm going to give this a lower mark, but I still like this personally better. It's I love the taste of the Key Lime Rattler from Plan B, but I wouldn't be able to drink more than one or two glasses of it. Where this, I could drink it all day, every day. However, I don't like the taste of it as much as that. That's, that's the thing, right? So I, this is the thing with with these reviews, right? They're They're personal in the fact that you got to figure out what you actually think of the thing and why you're doing it. You really should be able to defend your point of view, uh, why you gave a mark or anything like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. What another person thinks of the beer isn't wrong. Uh, if you love this beer or you hate this beer, it doesn't matter. Your paradigms, your taste palette, yeah, that's what decides whether or not you like the beer. However, you should still be able to say whether or not, what, what you like or what you dislike, not just, this is garbage! Well, why is it garbage? What do you dislike about it? Oh, well, I don't like how bitter it is. Okay, that, that's something to build on. Okay, your taste palate doesn't like the bitterness. Great. Not, oh, well, I don't know, it's just fucking garbage. No, that's not an answer. Not an answer. So, out of 10 on this, I would give this an 8.5. I actually really do enjoy it. I, I could drink it all day, every day. I just don't uh, think it's the best tasting of the Rattlers, but I think it is one of the Rattlers that you could drink all day. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be on toast. See you soon. Bye-bye. Death and taxes. Bang.